Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Our today topic is about the human urinary system. The urinary system, also known as the urinary tract or renal system, consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, bladder and urethra. The urinary tract is the body's drainage system for the eventual removal of urine. First part of the urinary system is the kidneys, which have an extensive blood supply via the renal arteries, which leave the kidneys via the renal vein. The basic structural and functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. Its chief function is to regulate the concentration of water and soluble substances like sodium by filtering the blood. The second part of the urinary system is the pair of ureters, which are bilateral thin, three to four millimeter tubular structures that connect the kidneys to the urinary bladder, transporting urine from the renal pelvis into the bladder. The muscular layers are responsible for the peristaltic activity that the ureter uses to move the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Another component of the urinary system is the urinary bladder, which is a temporary storage reservoir for urine. It is located in the pelvic cavity, posterior to the symphysis pubis, and below the parietal peritoneum. The size and shape of the urinary bladder vary with the amount of urine it contains and with the pressure it receives from surrounding organs. Now move towards the formation of urine, which starts from the functional unit of the kidney, the nephron. In the first part of the nephron, Bowman's capsule filters blood from the circulatory system into the tubules. Hydrostatic and osmotic pressure gradients facilitate filtration. The filtrate includes water, small molecules, and ions that easily pass through the filtration membrane. However, larger molecules such as proteins and blood cells are prevented from passing through the filtration membrane. The amount of filtrate produced every minute is called the glomerular filtration rate and amounts to 180 liters per day. About 99% of this filtrate is reabsorbed as it passes through the nephron and the remaining 1% becomes urine. Urine is formed in the kidneys through a filtration of blood. The urine is then passed through the ureters to the bladder, where it is stored. During urination, the urine is passed from the bladder through the urethra to the outside of the body. Now we move towards the main functions of the urinary system and its components, which are to regulate blood volume and composition like sodium, potassium, and calcium, regulate blood pressure, regulate pH homeostasis of the blood, contributes to the production of red blood cells by the kidney, helps synthesize calcitriol, which is the active form of vitamin D, stores waste products, mainly urea and uric acid before it, and other products are removed from the body. There are some facts about the urinary system. 800 to 2,000 milliliters of urine are normally produced every day in a healthy human. The urinary system is covered in a unique lining called urothelium, a type of transitional epithelium. Urothelium covers most of the urinary system, including the renal pelvis, ureters, and bladder. The urinary system is regulated by the endocrine system by hormones such as antidiuretic hormone, aldosterone, and parathyroid hormone. This is all about the urinary system. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.